Hi guys, I'm back for the third time this week. <laughs> Killing it. I wanted to get on today. I really wasn't planning on filming, but um, Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star's collaboration launched today and I had the afternoon off by the grace of some being somewhere and um, yeah, I've spent the majority of my afternoon trying to get a palette and I just wanted to talk a little bit about what the experience looked like for me. Uh, I know a lot of people are still going through it. I hope you all get one. It's It's been a crazy morning. It's been wild. Insert footage here. What's up guys? Hanging in bed with the pups. Um, awaiting the Jeffrey X Shane collab. I've never tried to buy something on its launch day except the James Charles palette which I did get. Um, this is expected to be crazy, so I felt like since I'm going to be giving one of these items away, I would document it. We are three minutes from launch, and I will let you know how it goes. It's cute. I am recording with my microphone today because my voice is a little scratchy. I feel like I could do ASMR. Should I? Should I try ASMR? I like ASMR, and I've always wanted to try it, but I didn't know if I had the technology. Um... And now that I know that I could probably pull it off with this, I might do that because I watch it every night and uh, you kind of run out of things to watch. I like the story times in ASMR and I've got some stories. Anyways, back to the topic. <clears throat> so I woke up this morning and I, I was go I've been going back and forth. Do I want to get the palette? Don't I? Okay, I don't, I'm not usually someone that buys things like this, like the gimmicky YouTube stuff. I bought James Charles palette and I used it once and then, uh, I'll just be honest, I sold it. I sold it. I wasn't doing YouTube at the time or maybe I would have given it away, but um, I didn't really, I thought I needed it, but I really didn't need it and I saw how much they were selling for and I was like, okay, I'm a sellout. I'm a sellout. I'm a sellout, but I'm exposing myself, so give me some sort of brownie points, please. But then I was like, you know what? Not only are the colors great, I, I followed the series from the beginning. I love Shane Dawson. He's someone that I wouldn't mind supporting. And maybe that's here. I don't want to get into all of that and how everyone feels. But from my point of view, I like it. Um, so I woke up this morning and I was like, you know what, Casey, let's just do it. Let's just get a palette. It probably won't be that hard. Little did I know. Probably won't be that hard. So let's just jump on there. You know, just type in our info and just grab the palette and go about our day. That's not really how it went. So at one o'clock, I am I refresh the Jeffree Star page and I'm like, okay, like nothing's happening. I'm not getting anywhere. So I start like frantically running around the house, like what the heck, you know? And uh, my housemate's like, well, why don't you use a laptop? I think that would work better. So I got on his laptop and still no no avail at this point. Um, to what he said, you know what with the a launch like this, you'd feel like they'd be launching it on a couple different platforms. Uh, and that reminded me, Morphe. Morphe's selling it. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go on Morphe. So I went on Morphe, which I'm mind blown how this even happened. Like somebody, somebody just, I was touched by an angel this morning. Aww. So I jumped on Morphe and boom, it was pretty much flawless. I got the palette and then literally 30 seconds later, I saw the notification that they sold out of Morphe. I guess the Morphe sellout happened in like minutes too. So how I pulled that off, how I pulled that off is beyond me. I think I deserved a break. Maybe that's why, I don't know. Good karma, whatever. Anyway, so I got one on Morphe. And at this point it had been kind of like, it kind of become like a fun game to me. Like, could I get another one? Should I? Like my car, I had, at this point I had already added another palette to my Jeffree Star website so I was like and I was in the queue like waiting um so with the Jeffrey site you it, I had to refresh like a hundred times to even get to the products and then once I got it in my car I had to refresh and verify my order like a hundred times before I got to the next step and finally I was in the queue which was like a picture um from the collab of Shane and Jeffrey and it said like don't uh refresh this page or you'll lose your spot Morphe had something like that but I was literally on it for like a split second so I'm waiting and um like literally 45 minutes goes by and I'm like, okay, but probably this is not happening because at this point, Jeffrey and Shane were getting on Twitter and being like, the site's down, Shopify's down, the website crashed, nobody's getting anything, like hold off till we re-whatever. 
But then I saw a tweet from Jeffrey that said we're slowly gonna be starting to get things back into stock. So I was like, okay, maybe this is this is go time. Like maybe that's it. So then, what do you know? My screen refreshed to my car, and it gave me the chance to check out. And I was like, oh my gosh, I I did it again. Oops, I did it again. Because I'm not oops, because it wasn't an accident at all. At this point, I was chasing it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I got another one. I don't need it. Obviously, I don't want to resell it. Because I really want someone to have it that, okay, number one, it was with shipping from Jeffrey's website, it was like $67 or something. And I know a lot of their followers are like younger or even in like college, like I didn't have like money like that. I was spending it on alcohol and God knows what else. But that's neither here nor there. Now I'm at a point where I like, I could buy, honestly, I wish I had bought like 10. I don't know. There's probably stipulations on that, but um, so I'm like, you know what? I want to give it away. I want to give it to someone that like couldn't get on the site, couldn't get through, doesn't have the money to get it, is like a, a big fan that actually wants it. Like, I'm reading down Twitter and I'm seeing comments like, "This was the only." Uh, this one got me, got me right in the heart. This was the only gift that my my wife wanted for her um, bridal present from him. It was like the husband writing that, and I'm like, oh my god, feeling like just a complete piece of shit. But it's like. I can make it right. I'm going to make it right because I'm going to gift it. I'm going to take take my investment. I'm going to gift it. Um, I know. <sighs> so giving. So anyways, apparently the site's still down. Morphe's definitely sold out. There were other random sites, Beautylish and Beauty Bay. I've never even heard of them. There was some other weird one I saw on Reddit too. Um, and I think they're all sold out too. So I think the only place holding it right now is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Now, as of right now, like... People are like already posting them on like eBay and Mercari, but like post dating the shipping and they're selling for like $200 and upwards, you know, um, which is crazy to me because it's not even sold out yet. Like, calm down people. Why would you drop that kind of money when there's still some to be sold? How many? We don't really know. Nobody knows. It's kind of like that with all these things. A big reason why also I chose to buy this pale is they were really transparent about everything. Like, so many youtubers and whatever like you don't know the inside scoop but i felt like they were they told us how much it cost to make how much they would be profiting off it i feel like at that point if you choose to con to be the consumer for a product like that then you know you're doing it with full transparency which makes me feel less guilty because i'm a, i want to support shane dawson i'm good with it like whatever and i know what he's making i think the whole way he's gone about the docuseries has been like very transparent and different than we're used to seeing in the beauty community so i was in i was in i was sold it happened i did it i think people are like really hate well i know people are really hated on like reddit and twitter like how could you not plan for this whatever i don't feel like you could plan for something this big thing about black friday like even on black friday which i'm sorry but it's probably less amped than this pale has been um sites crash all the time and you're planning for like an influx of orders you know this there's only like as big as the servers can go it's crazy how everyone's having such different experiences like how i managed to get it off morphe uh but i'm speechless i don't know but anyways um but some people are still like having a hard time getting through and it's just crazy to me how like different everyone's experiences can be but anyways i can sit back and get ready for work now because i um I was like so excited to have an afternoon off. I thought this whole process was gonna take like five minutes. No, it literally from start to finish, getting everything through to get two pallets, it was like one hour per pallet. It was, it was a two hour, I paid, I paid them to work for two hours. Okay, like 60 bucks an hour, really. Um, so down to the nitty gritty here. I am gonna give a pallet away on this channel, full size conspiracy pallet, pallet, palette away on this channel i don't know how i'm gonna do it yet it's gonna be fair it's gonna be easy uh i don't, I don't know i'm gonna think about it i'm gonna conspiracize for a little bit before i do that i have a little time before it gets here i'm hoping to have at least one of them by next week though morphe guaranteed shipping within two to five days so anyway i'm so excited to unbox it so there will be an unboxing maybe we'll play with some looks on there um and you know hopefully there's no scandal about the products or whatever i'm i don't like i said i don't usually do these things but i know like there's whenever a youtuber like puts out a uh 
like the vault think of like Jaclyn Hill the vault or the the lipsticks or I think there was something about Manny Amu Ways or James Charles newest palette like copying went wild or throwing shade and Destin tea or whatever it is these people are doing these days so hopefully the rest of this process just goes seamlessly and I luck out there too and just scooting on by um, but anyways stay subscribed or subscribe if you haven't already because I guarantee that's probably gonna be part of the um, giveaway I'm just a girl trying to talk I want to keep this very casual I like doing this I like talking and I I uh, like playing with makeup and I don't know rambling I guess but anyways so I'm sure subscribing will be a part of it. So if you subscribe, you'll also get to see where I put up, um, how we're gonna go ahead and run that giveaway. It'll probably be at some point next week when I unbox uh, the first palette, how I say what we're gonna do there with all that. And honestly, I'm just generally excited to give away something. So Monday, I think it was Sunday or Monday, I posted a glossy box unboxing and I had 17 subscribers and I did a giveaway Honestly, since I've gotten, I'm, I'm at almost 30 subscribers, which I know, like, I'm famous now, which I know is, like, so minuscule, but it means so much to me. It really does. So, I don't know if you want to support a thankful girl who is uh, giving back whenever she can, then go ahead and subscribe. Keep an eye out for the giveaway. And uh, I hope everyone got to get the palettes that wanted one. And if not, I hope that I, I hope you can be the one that gets it from me. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy shopping. Happy Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star Day. Should become a national holiday after today. Um, happy Break the Internet Day. Happy Friday. Have a good weekend.